Ladies, gentlemen, non-binary folks, hi guys, what's up? Welcome to back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm filming a YouTube video. Woo! I'm very excited, this lighting. Of course, I'm choosing to film this video at about five o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun will probably go down soon, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Oh my god, it feels so good to be filming a video. Hi, what's up, my name is Tachi. Welcome to Back to My Channel. I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> I haven't posted a video in a minute, I haven't filmed in a minute, and I'm just so excited to be back filming, saying hello, hi, oh my gosh. Let's get into it. Today I'm gonna be fixing this hair. As you can tell, I am struggling for a real one. What was it, two months ago now? Like at the beginning of quarantine, I dyed my hair blonde, these front strips of my hair blonde, recently recut my hair and then dyed them purple. Now they've faded to this blue yellow color and I have exciting things happening this weekend so I need my hair to look good. I'll be right back. I need my hair to look somewhat decent because this weekend, something very exciting is happening. I'm shooting my campaign for my sustainable streetwear brand that I'm launching at the end of the month. <laughs> yes, the rumors are true. I am coming out with my own clothing brand. I actually can't believe it. Like I haven't really like vocalized that yet like at, on any of my platforms, like a little bit on TikTok, a little bit on Instagram, but just like slight hints. So this is the first like, real like what's up guys like i'm actually coming out with my own clothing brand <laughs> and it's like so exciting because the process has been like a long process of designing and working with the different sustainable factories and like gosh it's just all very exciting obviously i'm gonna make a whole video about it it's called pronounced tachi and you guys can follow the instagram which is pronounced tachi if you guys want to but i want my hair to be nice for this weekend for when i'm shooting the campaign we're just doing a little catch up we're just gonna talk we're gonna dye my hair we're gonna whiten my teeth do a few little beauty things that I feel like I need to do. Without further ado, subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight into this video. First things first, thank you to High Smile for sponsoring this video. I love High Smile, I've been working with them for a little while. Just to like freshen up my skin, my teeth a little bit, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Um, this is the High Smile Day Toothpaste. I love this, I use it every single day. There's really good ingredients in here, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, phosphate. There's no harsh chemicals, clean ingredients and a toothpaste that actually works and helps to keep your teeth very white. I'm also gonna wipe my teeth later while like the dye is setting in. Ooh, minty fresh. This toothpaste has definitely helped me to keep my teeth very white, as well as the whitening kit that I kind of use for maintenance every now and then to kind of just like re-brighten my teeth. But I'll do that a little bit later. For now, let's get into this. Can I just like put this over what I have? Because before my hair was just bleached when I put the purple on, but now we have this kind of like remnants blue. So is it okay that I put more blue on top of the blue? There's no one here to answer that question. Okay, yes, I've colored my hair before, but every time I do it, I get very, very nervous. <clears throat> we read the instructions in this family because we are not stupid. All right, I think it's fine. I know I'm gonna get 17,000 comments of which color I used. Aqua. Did I forget how to be a YouTuber in the two weeks that I didn't film? I think I did. Also, I dried my hair with a blow dryer and it actually looks pretty cute. Like, I never do that. I realized something. I actually don't have that little like brush that I thought I had to paint it on. And I also don't have gloves. Why am I so unprepared? I found it. All right, we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> First, let us part the hair. I really hope this doesn't damage my hair more than it already is. Will it? Most likely, yes, most likely, yes. So, while I do this, since I'm such a good multitasker, why don't I update you guys on my life? Lots has happened since we last spoke. I totally came out of the closet. I'm sure you guys probably follow me on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is at Tringsby. That being said, I posted my coming out on TikTok and 
it went kind of viral. Like I literally had news articles written about me and I was like so shook. I did not expect that like literally at all. I just obviously thought like, you know, my followers that had already been following me would be like, cool, she's a little bit gay, but whatevs. But actually it like opened me up to a whole new audience, a whole new like group of gays pretty much. <laughs> And that was so exciting and it's been, oh my God, everyone's been so welcoming and like all my followers have been so nice. Plus like all of my new, my new followers that found me from that video. But if you found me from that video, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's good, what's poppin'? Gosh, I really feel like I have just grown so much in the last few months. Like I literally feel like I'm a whole new person. Like I really do. As dramatic as that sounds, but like I'm very dramatic. Like we've gone, we know this as if those are gonna hold. But I went to Sally's and I did not buy bleach because I did not want to be tempted to bleach my whole head of hair. So my question is, do we just go for it? I guess we do just go for it. It smells kind of good. It smells like candy. Look at what my mom had. What was I, did I actually clip that back? What the heck was I thinking? Didn't I like literally just separate that for like 20 minutes? I like really don't use my brain sometimes. Oh, I didn't clip it back. <laughs> I didn't clip it back, I didn't. No, no, I'm not that, I'm not that dumb. We're really just, we're just really going for it. Um, Brad Mondo, love you boo. I really do, um, but I'm sorry. Brad actually sent me some of his products, which was like so nice, cause I'm literally such a big fan of his. And he saw my video where I cut my hair and he commented on it and then he DM'd me and I was like, what the heck? I cannot believe that you commented on my video because I am such a big fan of yours. And he was like, I love your hair. And then he reposted a picture of me. And I was like, the heck? I was so shook. Hello? Let me know in the comments below if this is traumatizing you. Now that that is situated here, let me clean this up. Throw back to when I was freaking out over not being able to find this and then I like did not even use it. Also, what time is it? All right, so while we wait for this to color my hair, I'm gonna do my little maintenance teeth whitening with my High Smile teeth whitening kit. This is super, super easy to use. You basically, all you have to do is put this mouthpiece onto the light. And the kit comes with these little syringes. So these are the teeth whitening slash sensitivity strengthening gels. And each of these syringes has two uses. So I used this last week and now I'm gonna use the second half. A fourth of it goes on the top tray, a fourth on the bottom tray. All right, and then I just push that around a little like that. Do the same for the bottom. This is like really good if you travel a lot like me, just cause like it's such an easy device to bring with you. I actually have this little color chart here. I'd say when I first started, I was at about a four on the chart. I'd say now I'm about a three. We're working it up to a one. Thanks for that, Mom. But yeah, let's do this thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, teeth are feeling clean. You guys wanted to give High Smile a try. The toothpaste, night, day, it'll be linked down below. Okay, it's literally been the windiest freaking day ever. I was downtown because I was like picking up the hair dye. There's this big open field and it's like all dirt. And there was literally like 30 dirt tornadoes. And it was just like, my point here is that it's really windy today if you guys can hear the wind. Anyways, more life updates. Um, I came out of the closet, it is Pride Month. And I feel, I'm so excited about it. It feels really good. Um, I just feel very much myself. I've been surfing a lot. So I'm gonna post more surf vlogs and that type of thing soon. I can't believe my clothing brand is launching. Like that's what my main focus has been. A lot on design and just like meetings about different things. Samples coming back and forth from the mainland. The collection is coming in the mail tomorrow. And I haven't seen it, the finished product yet. And I'm like so excited I could cry. I've been planning the shoot 
with Celia, who has been on my channel a bunch before. So you see Alana on Instagram. She's one of my favorite photographers and she's gonna be shooting it. She does all film. She's done a bunch of shoots for me before. She's also one of my best friends in the whole freaking world. But we've been planning the shoot and it should be like really, really good, fun, good stuff. The whole mood board is just like very cool. I'm very excited, I'm very proud, and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. Like, I really think you guys are gonna like it. Very, like, on brand, very much, like, fits my personality. Other than that, I'd say that my mental health has been pretty well. Um, trying to stay as positive and as stable through all of this as possible, and obviously, there's been ups and downs, and just life right now, I mean, 2020 is just <laughs> the craziest year. This past few weeks, I've been taking a lot of time to educate myself about racism, systemic racism, as well as just racism in everyday life. Reading articles, watching documentaries, following black creatives, um, and just using my voice, using my platform, especially on my Instagram, I'm very vocal about the Black Lives Matter movement. I went to a few protests. Here in Hawaii, we have paddle outs when people pass away. And so that basically means everyone joins at the beach, says a prayer and paddles into the ocean, splashes water, just feels the joy in their heart for like that person who's lost their life. We did that here for everyone that has been a victim of police brutality. My heart is like literally so heavy with the topic and it's been something that I've been really trying to be the best ally that I can be. Uplifting black creators. But if you guys are wondering, if you guys want to donate, sign petitions, I have a bunch of links on my Instagram highlights if you guys want to check that out. But that's definitely been what's like consuming everything for the past few weeks and it will continue because this is an ongoing thing that I will be an advocate for. I will leave a bunch of links down below, places that you guys can donate as well as petitions to sign if you haven't yet. This is something that has got to be dismantled, it's got to be restructured, rebuilt, and I'm very much here for it. And I hope that you take these words and I hope that if you are 18, you register to vote and you vote. That being said, I think my hair might be done. Anyways, let's uh, let's see how this is doing here. Well, I must admit, it's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. The thing here is, because I live in Maui, it's gonna lighten up so fast, but this blue with this brown doesn't look very good. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what? It's not ugly. It's not ugly, right? If I go ask my mom, she most definitely will say it is ugly. Why is it so dark? Did I leave it on for too long? All right guys, I think I should do a face of makeup because it will probably make me feel like better. So I'm gonna do a full face of makeup and come back. I'm scared of what the comments are gonna say. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared about what the comments are gonna say. Hi guys. <laughs> It is the next day. Last night, I literally looked in the mirror and I was like, what the heck did I just do to my hair? Today, I woke up and I actually don't hate it. I think it looks kind of cute. I'm not mad about it. It's semi-permanent, so I know it's gonna fade out, but do my makeup feel pretty, you like it, it's fun. But if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Tringsby, TikTok at Tringsby, Twitter at Tringsby. Snapchat, Tringsby, my other Instagram for my brand, which is pronounced Tachi. Uh, check it out, stay tuned, because it's dropping soon. Uh, I love you guys with all my heart. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water. I'll see you guys in my next video. So much love for all of you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching all the way through. It really means a lot to me. I love you guys.